Hey there, it's Rachel from All About Planners. So in this video, I'm doing a review of the Get to Work book. So I reached out to Elise, the creator of the planner, um, and full disclaimer, she did send me the planner for free in exchange for this review, but I was gonna get it anyway because I'd seen a lot of people doing reviews of it and I really liked the minimalist style of it um, and the top three for each day. So I also got some notepads because I thought they were super cute. Again, that same style with the simple gray and black so you can go crazy with color and it won't clash with the colors um, of the notepad themselves. So I'll do a flip through of the planner in a sec, but let's just look at these notepads. So absolutely love the top three for each day and then lined writing space, um, super functional, and then the top three up the top as well. And then notes which you could convert into a habit tracker if you um, rule up some lines. So there's lots of these. The paper feels really nice and smooth. I'll be doing a pen test um, later on. The link will be in the description box below this video. I also got some project planning worksheets, so I thought these would be really good for blog post planning. So the um, blog posts in here and then um, like to do's like I need to take photos and do videos etc this week because usually I run out of space um, in the weekly spread and then I've taken to adding sticky notes or I'll put it in a separate notebook whereas this I can keep it all on the um, notepad and have that with the planner that I'm using for that week. Um, you could also use this as a weekly planner if you went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, Friday, Saturday, and then you might have like your other um, tasks, um, have a trap tracker up the top. So a couple of different ways to use this super functional little project notepad. And then rainbow. Okay, you guys knew that if there was rainbow, I'd find it. So really like this cute list. Um, again, would be really good for blog post planning or just writing out um, to do's for that week. If you run out of space on your weekly planner and you need a bit of um, extra space this would be a good option so cute all right now the planner itself so it is about seven by nine inches um, the cover itself and then the tabs um, stick out beyond the cover which I am a little worried about um, in terms of them getting damaged they do feel really sturdy I'm just not sure how well they would hold up um, throughout the year because they're not protected by the cover um, the binding is wire binding and it is quite a thick planner as you can see it's got really sturdy cover it's not bending at all um, which is really good so that should hold up well just wish it extended beyond um, for those tabs tabs printed on the front and the back with the months of the year which is good some companies are really stingy and they'll only print it on the um, like front face which just seems really cheap to me so it is quite bulky um, if you like to use stickers you might um, struggle to fit them on this coil you might have to tear out some pages as you use them so let's have a look inside so there's a craft cover and the black one obviously I went for the black because it looks super slick always go for um, black and white or rainbow so let's have a look inside so we have the dates at a glance now this is the 2017 to 2018 planner there's a new one every year um, they do seem quite similar with the previous years so if you're watching this and it's like technically expired like it's after this date don't worry about it the new one will be similar style um, with the minimalist colors that you can go crazy adding lots of colored pens to and it won't clash with the colors that have been used on the planner so next page we have some reflection and goal setting space so there is a, quite a lot of um, goal setting stuff in this planner which is good because not a lot of planners include that they tend to just chuck the weekly spread in some line notes pages and go yeah that's it whereas I've been on the lookout for planners that offer more um, goal setting space because I like seeing different ways that people um, approach goal setting like all the different notebooks so that's how I actually came across this one to begin with so I'll show you what I mean later on um, we get to those pages there's lots of nice quotes throughout the planner on the monthly divider pages dates at a glance and then some planning and they have this cute project sheet if you like bullet journaling you'll love this because it's got the grid dot pages and then we go into the monthly calendar so same minimalist style um, repeated throughout it's got a Sunday week start the weekly spread starts on a Monday which to me is a little odd I prefer when planners keep it consistent but a lot of planner companies do um, start on the Sunday for whatever reason then we have the little dates of the glance calendar and the note section down the bottom now the first thing that I look at when I get a planner and look at the monthly calendar is what they do when the week um, like finishes and whether they split the box in two or restart the numbering so if you've watched any of my other planner review videos you'll know what I mean this one adds an extra row so it's got six rows but on some of the other monthly calendars it only has the five so you get the same um, box size but then you lose out on the note-taking space 
So personally, I prefer when the dates just restart on the top row rather than like um, shadowing it like this one has. That's just my personal preference um, and which I usually just point out when I do a review. Okay, so the weekly spread. So I really like this weekly spread. I'm not someone that normally goes for vertical planners because they tend to not have um, enough space to write because I really need lines to keep my writing neat and if I don't have the lines my writing gets bigger and it's messier and I run out of space. So this one has lines which is good and it also has the top three for each day which is the main thing that I love about it. So it's basically a bound version of the um, planner notepad. Very um, similar layout and you also get this little action list column um, as like an extra which is at the top of the notepad. So. Um, pretty much the same style um, if you are on a budget or you just need a little bit of extra space and you don't want to buy the whole planner then that notepad would be a good option. So you've got the action items, top three again, loving the top three that's featured throughout this planner. You've got some grid dots based down the bottom, turn it into a habit tracker, um, that's what I'm going to do with it. And then we have again those shaded out days of the previous month. Starts on a Monday. The paper feels really nice and smooth. I'll be doing a pen testing, um, the link will be in the description box below to the blog post um, when I do it after I finish filming this video. So we've got those project planning pages which are just like that notepad. So I really like that idea because I usually do like one project um, a month. So I tend to keep that in a separate notebook because I was yet to find until I found this one a planner that actually included it within the planner. So I really like that idea, I wish more planners did that. And then you've also got some space to map out your plans um, if you run out of room over here or if, you can planning, if you're planning two. So if you had, um, like I do, like a blog one and then you might have a personal one. Um, so you've got plenty of space to map it out, which is good. And then the monthly reflection and then different quotes for each month throughout the planner. So I'll just show you a couple of them. So if we go to this one here. Not too much a fan of that one, but there's a really cute one. Where did I see it? That one's cool. We do some adult colouring in with that one. And then this one. It's a nice one. Simple. That one's cute. Get your goals on paper. That's definitely true. If I don't write it down, it does not get done. That one's cute. Next one. Shop every single day, that's true. If I don't do stuff every day, then nothing gets done. Say it out loud. These are different to like the normal quotes, which is good. I've not seen people use these sort of quotes before. Something different. I've looked at so many planners that if I see something different, I do get kind of excited about it. Um, something different to look at. That one's cute. So that one's definitely one that I have to remind myself. I'm always like, oh, what if I run out and then I just come up with like 10 more? Hence why I post so often on the blog because it just keeps coming. Okay, so let's go to the back of the planner. We've got more of the project planning pages with the grid dot paper. This cute little to-do up the top here. This would actually be really good for a notebook, uh, sorry, a notepad if they printed it like that, if people did bullet journaling. Um, because we love grid dot paper with some built-in checklist. And then if we keep going towards the very back, whoops, butterfingers today. We have the dates at a glance page. So really love the minimalist style, super cute. Okay, so again with those tabs sticking out a little bit, probably not too much of a fan because I reckon they'll get damaged, but you do get the month printed on the front and the back, which some planners don't do. The back cover is the same as the front um, in terms of being super sturdy. As you can see, that's very thick and it's not budging at all when I'm pushing on it. So if you want something that's minimalist, if you have, um, if you know a guy that wants a planner, this one might be a good option, so it's not um, super girly with bright colours all over it. This one would be a good option if you like doing top three like I do. Weekly spread is designed for that. If you want something um, where you want to try out this planner that's cheaper or you want something that's not got all the extras, then I do quite like this simple notepad. Or you can also get those project pads separately as well. So I'll include a link to the pen testing, and there's also the cute rainbow. Um, I'll include a link to the pen testing in the description box below if you want to um, see which pens work best in this planner. So I'll see you in the next review video.